Friends, welcome here on the eve of Pentecost. Uh, every time I hear the Spirit moving in my soul, I will pray. Doesn't it make you want to get up and dance? Well, tomorrow uh, in worship, we will get up and dance. So uh, get, your, get your space cleared and uh, be ready to move with the Spirit tomorrow in worship at 9, 10 on all of our digital resources. But today, let's spend a few moments in devotion uh, using Christ in our homes. If you have it in your email or you have the little book nearby, we're going to read Psalm 33, a few verses here, uh, to ground our day. This is starting in verse 12, if you want to read along. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven and see he sees all humankind. From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for victory, and by its great might it cannot save. Truly, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. And then an invitation to focus on verse 20 for this devotion on Saturday, May 30th, no matter what. Verse 20, God is our help and shield. When you start your day, do you feel armed with God's presence? Not for battle, but for the work of the day. Do you carry the shield of God into your daily work? This image is a reminder that God is always with us, our help and our shield. Verses 16 and 17 remind us of the futility of trusting in earthly powers. Wealth and might will, fail, will fall. Friends and family have foibles and flaws. But we can always hope in God's help and trust in God's holy name. No one and nothing uh, can snatch away the protection we have in God, because God's presence depends not on others, but on God. And on days when God's presence is harder to perceive, be mindful that God's faithfulness to you doesn't depend on you. It's not about what you believe or feel, see or sense. Even when everything, including God, feels uncertain, God is still with you providing care and guidance. God is our help in times of trouble and our shield of protection no matter what. In an invitation to pray together this morning, God, help me trust in you as my help and shield in both easy and hard times. Amen. And as this day unfolds, this eve of Pentecost, be invited to the prayer concern of those in need of protection this day. God bless you and we'll worship together tomorrow at 9.10.